<laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Um, so I just got done watching the uh, the Bachelorette. Um, I took Dev out for fondue, so I got to it a little, little bit late. But uh, my, oh my, oh my, don't turn that off. Jeez, oh, Dev, just leave it off. So what ended up happening? Well, three people were eliminated. Uh, the first guy, I don't even know what his name was uh, because he was just irrelevant. He just he just wasn't masculine enough. I don't know. He wasn't forward enough. Who knows? The second guy she eliminated was Mike. The reason, there were two reasons, three reasons she eliminated Mike. Number one, ain't no way a brother is going to win the Bachelorette with a white Bachelorette. It's not gum happen. Listen, I told you guys this, what, a month and a half, two months ago? I, three reasons why there will, there will never be a black bachelor. And in that episode, I said, listen, man, Mike is not winning the bachelor because ain't no way Hannah B. from Sweet Home, Alabama is bringing a black man home to meet her father, Zed. <laughs> I don't even know if that's his name, but he's from Alabama and his name is Zed. Her name is probably Kitty. Or Taffy or some crazy nonsense like that. Ain't no way beauty queen Hannah B is bringing home a brother. That's the first reason. The second reason is Mike is a simp. Every, every time you turn around, my queen. And he, he, you're not going to disrespect my queen. And da -da, oh my God, dude, for serious, dude? Like you've known this. Like you can tell that Hannah B is like the first white girl that Mike has ever put his lips on, right? Like you can tell, cause he was just enamored. He's like, oh my God, it's the white woman. I think I wanna marry this girl. This girl is my queen, right? That's the second reason because he was simping. The third reason is because right there at the end, and I actually put this up on social media, is that face to face, he's like, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking to my wife, da -da 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 -da, all goofy. That was it, that was the beginning of the end. And the look that she gave him, she was like, she tried to hide the fact that she was so turned off by this guy. And then she BS the producer. Yeah, I started to see a little bit of my future. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. And so, of course, now she gets in this one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, you know, I'm so sad because you said you have three strong women in your life and you're looking for your fourth. And I just know I'm not your fourth. Acting like she actually cares. No, she does not care about that. So that's why Mike is gone. Number one, because a brother's not winning if there's a white bachelor. At number two, Mike was simping. Dude, Mike is acting like he ain't never seen a white girl in his life. Like, like for real, you would think, <laughs> you would think that this is the first time that Mike had ever seen a white girl. It's, it was just unbelievable. This, this dude was steady simping. And the third reason, of course, is because he told her, I think I could see my wife. Oh, Jesus Christ. Then, of course, the showdown of all showdowns. And this was not a showdown. This was Garrett versus Luke, right? She finally said, all right, enough is enough. I'm just going to put these guys head to head, blah, you know, head to head, and we're going to see what happens. Guys, Luke was going, of course, Luke was going to win, man. Dude, listen, man, I called this from the start. Now, I will, I will tell you this. In the beginning, I thought Luke P was going to win, and then I kind of backed up on it. But now, not only do I think he's going to win, I hope he wins. Um, I hope he wins. I think it's between him and Tyler because Tyler is the most husbandly. Um, but um, I think Luke P, I think she wants to have sex with Luke P. I don't think she wants to marry him. She wants the, she wants the, alpha, she wants the alpha seed over the beta need. Anyway, so Garrett was all smug and, oh, you're going home and this and that and a third. But guess what? Luke had something for Garrett's ass. When he sat down with Hannah, she says, I want to know how you came to God. And somehow Luke has figured out how the game is played. These guys have been ganging up on Luke since the very beginning. Everyone, everyone trying to gang up on this guy. And in the beginning, he was a little bit flustered, right? You can see him getting a little bit emotional. You can see him kind of getting flustered. One by one, the guy started to fall. And then Luke figured it out, right? Luke figured it out. He must have looked, he must have looked up the red pill on Google. Because what ended up happening was, he says, well, it's a funny story how I found Jesus. I was just chasing sex. I was chasing, I was chasing sins of the flesh. And Hannah's eyes shined with, 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 uh, with arousal and curiosity. Tell me more, she says. Tell me more. I was just chasing sex and this and that and the other. And then it just hit me. I can't chase sex anymore. He literally gave her, I don't want to be a player no more. 
speech. And Hannah bought it hook, line, and sinker. And I'm going to tell you something else, man. It didn't matter what Luke said. He would, listen, he was going to beat out Garrett. Garrett learned a very, very difficult lesson tonight. And that lesson is, is that women like Hannah at her age aren't looking at character. Yeah, this is supposed to be The Bachelorette. And she's supposed to be looking for her husband. But guess what? She is still a 24-year-old American woman. She's not really concerned with character. She wants the hot guy who she wants the hot guy who's going to give her good sex. And Luke P appears to be that guy. Hannah B is the most aroused by Luke P. Bottom line, this is why he is going to win. It's either going to be him or it's going to be Tyler. That's all there is to it. So, listen, many have tried, they have all fallen. They keep trying to take him down. Luke P, oh, I can't believe. And all these guys are just utterly perplexed. Like one by one, she keeps he keeps taking these dudes down. And every time they go home, they're like, I just don't understand how Hannah can't see it. I don't understand why he's still here. Any man with a modicum of red pill awareness knows why Luke is still here. Because Hannah want dude, Hannah wants Luke to smash. That's it. That's all there is to it. Luke is the hottest guy there. The, dude, the sexual tension between her and Luke is palpable. This is why Luke ain't going nowhere. Luke figured out how to play the game, and now he is playing it better than anybody else, number one. Number two, Hannah just wants to, she just wants to have sex with him more. That's what it comes down to. All of these guys are, are getting a crash course in red pill awareness. This is what's happening. These guys are going to go home. They're going to be like, dude, what in the world? Where did I go wrong? At some point, these guys are going to figure it out. Maybe it's today. Maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's six years from now. But the red pill is staring them right in the face. You have an attractive-ish, early 20, early, you know, girl in her early 20s looking for a husband. And lo and behold, she keeps eliminating all of the best contestants for the best looking contestant. That's what this comes down to. Understand this, gentlemen, no matter what women say, and this is just indicative of women in 2019, no matter what women say, they are not looking for character in their early to mid-20s, guys. They're not looking for husbands. They're not looking for Mr. Right. They're looking for Mr. Right now, even when she is supposed to be looking for Mr. Right in the form of The Bachelorette. Not gonna happen. It's gonna be Luke versus Tyler. I think it's gonna be Luke. I could be wrong. That's my prediction, man. The pilot or whatever his name is, he's he's too much of a boy. He's like, I don't know. Listen, man, I don't know. There's some sort of sexual attraction between him and and Hannah. Listen, maybe she grabbed his package and 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 she sees that he's got like a 16 inch, you know, I don't know. But he ain't winning. He's, he looks too much like a boy. He doesn't look like a man. No facial hair to speak of. He's a pilot. With, okay, fine. Who's the other guy? Let's see. There's, I don't even know that guy's Peter. Peter the pilot. He's not winning. And then there's the other guy, Jed. Jed ain't winning. His forehead is too big. <laughs> right? And don't listen. Don't get me wrong. Jed can shoot. He can shoot the basketball. We saw him in Boston. Jed's not winning. Jed's not winning. That's all there is to it. It's going to be Tyler versus Luke. Now, Tyler should, if, if Hannah really is looking for, and you know what, I don't know, man, because Luke seems to be bothered, based on the previews, that Hannah has had sex. I mean, like, he is putting it down. He's like, yo, look, check this out. If I find out you've had sex with other guys in the fantasy suite, I'm out of here. And Hannah was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. My husband would never say this to me. Guess what? That's how, listen, that's how he rolls, man. Luke is territorial. As far as Luke is concerned, Hannah belongs to him. And she can say all she wants to. My body does not belong to you. Yeah, actually, Hannah, it kind of does. You know it does, and he knows it, and he knows it does, and Garrett damn sure knows it does. So we're going to see what happened. <laughs> but like I said, Garrett learned a very difficult lesson tonight. He got his first little taste of the red pill. Women in their early to mid to even late 20s are not interested in men of character. It's too early. She's got too much philandering to do. It's not going to work that way. If these guys think that being a good guy is going to win this competition, they are sorely mistaken. Luke P is not being a good guy. He's being a douchebag. He out douchebagged Garrett tonight because he simply looks like the better douchebag. That's it. That's it. And now he's going to be the territorial, you better not sleep with anybody else douchebag, man. Honestly, honestly, he might as well go out and buy the ring right now.
I'm being straight up. I'm, I'm dude. I'm telling y'all straight up. If he continues with this, with this, uh, uh, with this shtick in terms of your mind, you belong to me, dude. Listen, I'm here to tell you, girls love this stuff. They can say all that. I don't want a man to be territorial. Nah, uh, -uh. women love this stuff. Trust and believe. This is Red Pill 101. All right, guys, that's it. I gotta go to bed. I'm out.